and welcome uh, back to Carmston Farm for the realism experiment. Um, yeah, <laughs> hope you've all had a good week. Uh, it's been an interesting uh, day today. Um, I have, I am midway through setting up the multiplayer server for tomorrow night. We are going to be back over on YouTube at 8.30. Um, setting up farms on Ebony Island. Uh, so yeah, lots of lots of goings on and farm setting up and everything tomorrow. So uh, that'll be good. Um, if you have had a farm on a previous uh, on the previous multiplayer um, and would like to farm on the new one, pop over to the Discord. Let me know over there, um, and we can set you up. If there are any farms left. I have had one already reserved, um, but uh, yeah, there, uh, there there might be a farm or two available. Um, shall we say hello to everybody in the chat and see who's here? Uh, Milk Tanker J, welcome along. Uh, Luke Older, 1988, welcome along. Hornet 73, welcome along. Um, and thank you for resubscribing for your 27th month. You are awesome. Uh, Felix Farming Life, welcome along. Uh, CLA Racing, welcome along. Lenny123, welcome along. New Holland Man 1, welcome along. Uh, Blackbeard65, welcome along. Uh, Taz Oslo, welcome along. Uh, Gaming FFC, welcome along. Uh, Honey Badger 34567, welcome along. Uh, Rob Simo, welcome along. Uh, Good Guy 17, welcome along. Uh, Callum Bro 05, welcome along. DIY 215, welcome along to all of you. Um, as with last night, we are currently being uh, sponsored by HelloFresh. Um, so uh, if you would like to get yourself a nice HelloFresh box, get. 50% off your first box, 35% uh, off uh, the following three boxes and three free gifts. Uh, use the link that has just appeared in the chat and use my code POGHELLOUK1011 um, to uh, to get those. And uh, yeah, help the channel out as well because, of course, it is an affiliate link. So every order that you guys in get in and you save with... I also get a little bit back from, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah, it's a great way to support the channel, and it's a great way for you to get some wonderful, nutritious meals as well. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, hey, Jesse, welcome along. Shall we crack on with some farming? Because I think that's everything for this evening. I've got another announcement maybe for Sunday, but it's it's I need confirmation on stuff first. So, uh, let's head over to here. Or I might have it for tomorrow night. I'm I'm waiting to <laughs> I need to, I need to have something uh firm to say. Right, let's uh do that and do that. We did have a look in the shop, I think, at the end of last stream. Don't think oh yeah, we're gonna go and swap the Keenan. So I'm gonna unload the current stuff we have in and we're gonna go and swap for this second hand one. Because it'll work just as well and it'll save us about five thousand. It's just got a few more hours on it. So that will work out actually better for us. Uh, we sold all the milk at the end of the last stream. We, uh, we might have some eggs to sell this time. So we uh, we need to head up to the farm and check that. Uh, we need to start spraying off weeds in all of our fields because we have a big weed problem. Oh, but the thing we do have to do today is... Uh, we have to go and uh, we have to, to go and bail up our fields. Hey, Catcracker6, uh, you sh and you show off to welcome along. Hey, Mr. Firebird88. I've missed a few weeks. My wife and. Oh, your wife had a baby. Yeah, congratulations, Mr. Firebird. That's awesome. And no sleep. Hey, Average, welcome along. Let's uh, let's give you a shout out because average is awesome. Uh, uh, uh. Nope, nope, nope. It, that. There we go. Right. Uh, I don't think we have enough milk to sell. No, we actually we are going to have enough milk by the end of the day. We seem to be at the moment in a thing of milk at the end of the day to sell, which is brilliant. 
Uh, right, so, uh, as I say, we need to go and get rid of that feed wagon. So we'll use this for that. And go and grab a new one. Yeah, so we're still on the lookout for a bigger combine. Yeah, no sleep, but many precious memories. Ah, oh, it's wonderful. Right up until uh, you get my son's current thing of, I don't want to, which is just, and he's seven. He's a teenager before his time. Right, we've got 7,000 litres, so we'll empty that out of here. I mean, we're basically going to go and get an identical feed wagon. Um, but we're going to save about £5,000 doing it. Uh, which, you know, in the realism experiment, £5,000 can be, make a big difference. So I just want to get the rest of the feed out of this. And once that's done, we'll go and sort that. Um, and then, yeah, we need to get rid of weeds. We need to do bailing. Bailing is what we need to do. Get that sorted. Is this, this is really realistic unloading, isn't it? It takes forever. But it is quite a cool mod. I do like these Keenan. Right, there we go. So that is emptied. We'll take this up to the shop and divest ourselves of it. And then we are going to be in a good position. Uh, gavel is coming, yes. So, uh, po potinger, so. Go well. I think is Gowell. Um, I'm sure Kermit will tell me at some point. Um, but uh, yeah, Gowell um, is uh, is coming to Farm Sim end of next month, uh, which is quite cool. Slightly worried. I'm about to bring this. Oh, no, no. Ah. I need to have a look at something quickly. Okay. Got my dates wrong. Good guy, 17. Thank you for subscribing at tier one. You are awesome. For your second month, too. Very excited for that. Looks really nice. Really pleased with Gout. Yeah. I, I think it's going to add a lot of interesting stuff. I love the idea of, uh, of being able to tip uh, the chaff in and bale it up and, uh, and make bales out of it really good feature to add uh, and i like that a lot right so oh we in fact we're gonna get more money for this than i originally thought because right we're gonna back it up and we will put it into the cell point we're gonna repaint it and uh we are going to repair it so this here uh repaint it yes repair it yes sell it 33,025 that's great and then over here and in here and we're gonna buy this uh we can put michelin tires on it oh wow don't wanna i'm gonna put the bigger ones on yep uh, design standard or oh, we could add a feed chute to this one uh, add a bale handler and a feed chute that's an extra five grand there goes the extra five grand that we originally that we're gonna save from this although actually we made thirty three thousand from it so it's it's not bad uh no uh registration 
Do I want the bail handler? I think I probably do. I probably want the extras on this. Go wheel. Yeah, it's, it's sound after the B. Let's call it uh. So go wheel. Yeah. Uh, right. We are going to be putting this on. Uh, uh so VF08 um rex uh, R E X. There we go. Back only type one. Okay. Cool. So uh yeah, that's like adding all those extras on and um it's worth it. In fact, yeah, that's that is absolutely worth it. Fully loaded version. There we go. So, uh, yeah, it's like we've upgraded our old one for free. Which is quite cool. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, now, uh, we can repair this here, I think. And we do have more money than we came down here with. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, what is the condition of it? The condition of it actually isn't bad. So, we'll just take it back. But I'm happy with that. That's uh, that's a nice upgrade. So it's not just a case of going and buying the same one we've got. We've actually managed to upgrade our current one and make some money upgrading it. I like that. I like that a lot. And that's going to make a big difference to us overall. Money, money, money. Um, so, yeah, we are going to go and do some bailing today. I think our baler should work on this tractor. I'm hoping it works on this tractor. Uh, it's it's this track. This T6 is actually a bit misleading. It's got 175 horsepower and I keep forgetting that. This is actually a really good all round tractor we've got. And uh, and yeah, I got it for doing the grass work, for bailing, for um, for doing all of the uh, spraying and everything. So yeah, it's a good tractor to to be doing this stuff with, and that's why it's got the GPS on it as well, and um, because it is the tractor for doing all of that stuff on. I'm gonna park our new feeding wagon down this end. I'm actually gonna go and park it at the far end so the first thing we can do is just put a uh, a load of oop, uh, a load of uh, feed from the feed pallet in in fact i'm not sure we can do that mm. am i gonna miss that wall yes Not going to miss the uh, ends of the other bits, though. I'm not sure we can immediately put in uh, any of the mix without having put any other mix in first. It's a bit weird, like that we had earlier. Let's see if I bring that there. Yeah, it won't fill, fill with it if uh, I don't already have something in it, which is slightly weird. Right, there we go. And we've not put any uh, straw in here for a while either. So yeah, we need to uh, get our two meadows bailed up. And then we want to... Uh, we want to spray them with herbicide, I think, actually. Uh, no, baler is over here. And there we go. All connected up. What have we got in here? We've got straw in here. Oh, wow. We do not have a lot of uh, wrap. Let's see if we can fill this up a bit. Okay. We can't, we can't reload with more wrap until we've uh, em finished the last lot of wrap that we've got. 
or net. It's the net, not the rat. Right. There we go. Close that. Now this first bale is going to be a mix of hay and grass, but hey, it comes out grass. I would like to be able to empty the baler. There we go. And these, of course, are smaller bales than we've had before. But we should be able to stack these better in the... Uh, in our place. Is that wrapped yet? There we are. Done. Uh, would I upgrade my T6 to a small engine T7? Um, unlikely, but I do think with the amount we're using this T6 that uh, buying a small engine T7 to accompany it is not a bad idea. Can I recommend a good map with big fields? Uh, this map is a great map with big fields. Um, Attingham is a great map with big fields. Uh, it depends on what you mean by big fields. Um, I mean, there are some maps with just ginormous fields. That just make everything on here look small. Um, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of those maps because those take forever. Massive fields. I don't tend to play many maps like that, to be honest. Hey, Wet Bandit 87, welcome along. So I'm trying to drop the bales across the. Oh, uh, uh, across the slope. Uh, the Oaks. Yeah, the Oaks, if you're on PC, has some really nice large fields and it's a UK map. Uh, it, it's also based in my uh, native Norfolk. Um, but yeah, big fields is relative for me. I mean, Spruce Mountain has some pretty big fields. So this ba this baler is great because it only uh, requires a low level of horsepower. It's a bit of a problem because it only does small bales. Definitely need fast tracks on that map. Yeah, I have an I I have an idea for a series on the oaks that I'm considering, and yeah, fast tracks might be a good idea for that series. Hopefully that's not gonna roll. Nope, that's not gonna roll. Good. And we'll bring this in here. So 
So we're going to have a lot more running around picking bales up from this field because, of course, we have, uh, well, we have fewer, um, or we have more bales that are going to come out as a result of uh, smaller bales. So I am being very careful. What YouTube series do I like the most? What uh, what farm tune YouTube series uh, of my YouTube series or something that's uh, my, of, of my series? The one I'm enjoying making the most at the moment is Attigan Park. Attigan Park is uh, very much a joy to make. Uh, I am... Bridge Mount is an interesting one because it goes between me enjoying doing it and me slogging away at it. Uh, so Spruce Mountain at the moment, I have a little bit of it. At, you know, I've just spent four issues doing the uh, the silage harvest. And actually, that was my fault. Completely my fault because I should have got a larger silage harvester. And I should have realized that. Um but uh yeah i don't want to drop this one at the end of here this will get easier once we're not doing the headlands anymore because i won't have to drop the bales at specific points uh, i'm looking forward to ross's icon pack We'll have a look at that. Definitely. He does do some really nice DCL JCBs, though. Really does. You're going to unload that? Yep. Yeah. Only got 29 meters of wine left. Oh no, there we go. We're out of net wrap. Right. Time to get the yard tractor. Oh, I was further away from that than that. There we go. Uh, will the icon pack come to all platforms? I would guess, knowing Ross and what Ross has done in the past. Yeah, most likely. And all of his other JCBs, uh, all of his other mods are... Uh, are uh, cross platform. Will I play Seven Days again? Uh, yes, there are plans to play Seven Days to Die again. Speaking of people, uh, I plan to play Seven Days to Die with. <laughs> Mr. Gamer Dragon is present in the chat. Go check out GD, because if you're not, I don't know what you're doing. You're definitely doing Twitch wrong. No. Just like I am at the moment. Oh, come on, computer. There we go. Need to sort out buttons for all these again soon. Hey, IDK, welcome along. How goes it? Oh, I forgot how horrible these are. Oh. But yes, hope to play some Seven Days to Die again soon. Um, I think we're going to try and do something next week, actually. Uh, not Seven Days to Die, but um, there's a new very cool game that comes out next Thursday. And I think we might try and do some MP on it. Uh, but that will be over on Victor Fox Trot. I'm going to resurrect that channel. 
how many videos a week would you say is a good amount to produce uh however many you can safely and uh confidently create callum would be my my suggestion if that's one a week that's one a week if it's seven a week it's seven a week there we go refilled with net wrap Yeah, these net wrap pallets do not sit on here well. I believe there's a... Isn't there a net wrap uh, front bumper that you can put on? I'm good, thank you, GD. Oh, yeah. It has an alpha release date of next Thursday. So it's uh, it's going into early access um, because they they put it back so many times. Uh, they said, right, we're we're gonna get it out there, and you guys can give us feedback. So yeah, it's out next Thursday, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. It looks awesome. I've seen uh, I've seen some previews of it, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go and do that over there on my third YouTube channel. Because I don't have in it, uh, I don't have enough YouTube channels apparently. Although that one it has only 456 subs, so it's going to be a while before that hits one 1k subs. let's um before that fills let's get rid of the rat bale and then we'll work our way down the field You stop moaning about being ill yet. <laughs> so I got Virtual Farmer, Virtual Farmer 2, and Victor Foxtrot. Uh, which have 35,000, 1,100, and 456 subs, respectively. Hey, Whitefield Boss Fan 1, welcome along. It's me, Home Depot Fan 22. New name, new account since I got bored with my whole identity. Fair enough. Uh, question Look at Ebony. Uh, are leaning towards keeping or removing? Uh, right, so. Uh, what I should say is I have removed all the animal pens from Ebony. Uh, based on the feedback I got from everybody and looking at the farm setups, uh, it made more sense to just remove all the animal pens before we start. So, there are no animal pens on our multiplayer to start with. Uh, if you want to uh, have animals on... Uh, on there you are going to have to place the pen yourself which with the animal pens removed there is plenty of space to do so how long have i been playing uh on this map uh we are up to no actually i keep forgetting i think it's like 260 hours or something uh when i last looked it's either that or 400 yeah, 255 hours we've been playing uh, on this map. Yeah, so everybody gets an extra grass field on their farm to start with. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you can you can place an animal pen in there. A lot of my initial money is going to be going on my tractor because I'm, I'm, my aim with this MP is to get a tractor that I can run the whole farm on and then... Um, 
probably higher equipment and stuff as I need it. Which is going to be an interesting way to play. I think that's the way I tried doing it on Sandy Bay in FS17. Uh, FS19, sorry, when we did the uh, realism experiment multiplayer on there. And ended up with just the same tractor for a very long time. And it won't be in New Holland. But I think if you're going to play like that, you've got to get a tractor that really can be an all-rounder. Because if it's not, you're, you're, you're in trouble. Or maybe a, uh, you know, a powerful tractor you can run most of your farm with and then a, uh, a, a really cheap second tractor that's, uh, that you can put a front loader on or something like that. Or just a telehandler, you know, a cheap telehandler or something like that on there too. played on uh tom uh, the tom pendleton map uh farm map yet i did do a first look at it and it doesn't really support my normal style of gameplay uh, it's it's very much a map that's set up for if you are a fan of tom pendleton and uh, and you want to go and play his farm absolutely it's a great map for going in and doing that you go in on new farmer you own all the land you need and away you go outside of that if you go on as as um farm manager or start from scratch um then uh yeah it's uh it 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 doesn't quite work as well uh will i be starting victor fox trot streams at the same time uh if possible gd i'd like to start at half past eight if possible Because it just allows me to get the kids to bed. Yeah, 8 o'clock was nice and gave me a little bit more streaming time. But it just, it just made for really, really stressful stream setups. I wish MJ Modding could have made Tom Bender map. It would have been even better. Yeah, as I said in my review... I, I think that all the map maker I, I would like to see the map maker go back and change the farmland uh, poss buying possibilities uh, maybe break up the main farm a little bit just um, you know a few a few more bits like that the the map itself there is nothing inherently bad about it. There's nothing inherently wrong that makes me go, oh, I, I dislike this map. Um, my, my issue is with its general setup. And that's it. And if I could, if, if there, there was the ability to play with the other game modes on it, I it would be absolutely wonderful. But there's yeah it, it doesn't quite get the mix between reality and gameplay right uh uh it is called oh god oh really my tractor's in need of is it my tractor oh my it's the tractor and the baler in need of repairs um oh god i can't remember what the name of the map is Ballam Road Dairies, I think it is. Uh, okay, I think we should have a few of us for Thursday. I'll have a chat with the gang later. Cool. I need to pop back in the voice chat because it's been a while. It's just been a busy few weeks. Ballam Road Dairy Farming, that's it. 
yeah and i did i've done a first look on it and i have uh, and that's up on my channel if you want to have a look hey king scorpion welcome along right oh this is okay this might be on a slope it might not okay it's not on enough of the slope to make it uh oh is that foot that is full wrap it we're a bit better for role play stuff i would agree um my issue with calmston has always been that uh it's hard to customize the farms uh, which is why I'm so pleased Oxy is making fully customizable farms for uh, his next map. Because that, that will be awesome. No, stop. There we go. And 100%. How many bales do we get off the... Oh, wow. We have so many bales to collect up. Glad I'm going to be using JCB for that. Hey, Ethan. Welcome along. Uh, what crops do I have planted at the moment? I am currently doing lince, uh, winter wheat, uh, linseed, and canola on this farm. Oh, no, no, back it off. There we go. Ooh. And back up. There we go. What's my favorite tractor ever is, as uh, Black Mirror has indicated, the David Brown 1210. It is an awesome tractor. I absolutely love it. Uh, I would own one if I could, but my my wife would uh, my wife would divorce me. Still trying to work out how I'm going to get to Vegas in October. I actually have no fear that I'd have the money to go to Vegas in October. I just, the thing that fears, I'd, so I'd like to take my wife out there, you know, and, uh, and, and have two days at TwitchCon and then like three, four days out in Vegas um, and just, you know, go and do that. Uh, the trouble is that she wants to fly business class, which is really expensive. Um, and... Uh, I, uh, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'd be able to afford that. The, um, the alternative is I fly out just for TwitchCon in Vegas, which would be, uh, which would mean I'd fly to the States on Thursday, arrive late on Thursday, be out there for the Friday and uh, at the Saturday and Sunday fly back on Monday get home on Tuesday uh, cheers good guy 17 it's a very long way to go on a Davy Brown tractor but I'd probably spend more time in the air than I spent in Vegas I mean, Paris is, is an easy one to, to go to TwitchCon. I mean, that, that, that I could get a train to go and do. Have I watched Clarkson's Farm? I have. Clarkson's Farm is awesome. Um, as I was saying in last night's stream, I uh, really, really think the council did him over. I'm, um, that was pretty pitiful. I've been to Vegas once and I absolutely loved it. I went 15 years ago. Uh, and uh, yeah, I want to go again. Uh, no spoilers for Clarkson's Farm. Yeah, I, I won't say anything more than that. But uh, yeah, I can see why there's a certain amount of outrage. 
Okay, GD, catch you later. Been to me today. Can't post comments. Don't think you turned prefab walls on on today's silver run. I probably did. I don't think I turned anything on on today's silver run, actually, which is a good point. Just thinking about it, I'm not sure I turned any of the. Um, I need to check. Thanks, Black Mirror. Yeah, I need to check that. I'm amazed how well I've got to the point in in recording where no matter how long I record I get a good feel for how much actual footage I've got uh, today's silver run I recorded for about 50 minutes and had easily enough to do an episode with um, and then uh, on Tuesday? No, uh, yeah, on Tuesday uh, for uh, Spruce Mountain, I uh, recorded. Uh, oh no, sorry, Wednesday for Spruce Mountain. I uh, I, re I recorded that. Took me two hours to record you, uh, Wednesday Spruce Mountain. Still, only had twenty five minutes worth of actual footage for it, which was insane. First three, but Mr. Wolves. Okay, I'll give that a check. You might be right. Oh, I don't think we're going to get two more bales out of this. And then we need to go and repair these because they are broken. And we're going to have to spike these to pick them up, I think. Yeah, there's not a full bail here. There we go. Okay. Back we go, and we'll go get the JCB and start spiking these and collecting them up. I hope I have enough space. But we'll soon find out. How many litres per bale are these? Uh, oh, wow, really? Only three? Okay, so two of these per load then. Three and a half thousand litres is not a lot. I think our bales that we have at the moment are 7,000 litres. Let me have a look in here. How big are these? Yeah, seven and a half thousand litres. Wow. Right, both of these need repairs. So open that up. Oh, ow. Neither of those are cheap repairs. Let's back our baler back up and get that undercover. Might give it a quick wash down before I put it away. I 
I really should have got a uh, screenshot of doing that bailing. Never mind. Well, I have to screenshot the JCB. Try and move this pile over. Oh, that's not going to happen, is it? Oh, wow. No, that just mounted it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, those aren't moving. So, can I get three of these bales on here at once? Let's find out. So, spike the first one in the middle. How much space do I get either side? Not enough. Okay, two bales at a time. So 7,000 litres at a time we get out of these. If we grab two bales. Exclamation mark join uh, join in in chat. Yeah, there we go. Community multiplayer is back from tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Basically the same setup as we had on Greenlands, but on Ebony Island. Maybe we should get a wheel too. I find steering with keyboards very wonky. Uh, I'm flying left and right. I agree with that. I occasionally use my uh, keyboard when my wheel isn't, um, uh, when I've not got my wheel in the right place. And uh, yeah, it's very wonky. 
So, quick lesson here on how to stack round bales. Uh, put two together like that at the bottom for stability. Put the next one in the middle of those two. And you will always have a really stable stack of round bales. Hey, Housewell. As Housewell has just put into the chat, if you would like to get 50% off your first box and 35% uh, off the next three boxes after that, I will. Uh, you can use my code POGHELLOUK10111 uh, and uh, that link to HelloFresh and uh, yeah. You, uh, you can get a nice uh, nice offer and support the channel at the same time. Because we are sponsored by HelloFresh at the moment. Oh wow, that is going to be fun. We get enough people signing up, I might go and do a cooking stream, I think. So I can demonstrate my skills with HelloFresh. And just how easy it is to cook something with them. Uh, actually, I just need a single one. We need the single one for the top. So let's go grab this one. Look at how much bigger those uh, those other ones are. Hey, Mystic, welcome along. Oh, yeah, we've got to go through and retape all the holes. That's fine. That's a minor thing. We'll tape up the bales. They'll be good as new. Good little bit of duct tape. I mean, they're only for feeding our own cows, so... Good evening, back 9181. Welcome along. Wow, this is a lot of bales. Right, single one from up the top.
And two more. Sorry, got five left on the field. Uh, my next stream is tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. over on YouTube. Uh, we have the community multiplayer, and then I'm next back here on Twitch on Sunday. So it's funny no one ever made a duct tape simulator and the simulator's out there, but search Steam. And of course there's a duct tape. Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. Later, FS boy 54 Thanks for joining us. Go get the singleton over here. There we go. And then we need to get everything off that field. How many have we got in there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, okay. Yep, yeah, that's actually probably a perfect number, I think. Which is good, because it's worried about being left with a, a single bale. But if each of these is a pile of three, that does leave a single bale left over, which we should be able to put on the top. I think. Uh, would you upgrade to a JCB 420S by Rossen? Yes. Um, I think we do have that in here as a mod. Do we have it in here as a mod? Where's Teller Handlers? There it is. So the one we've got is this one, which is the base game one. Uh, we do have Ross's uh, uh, Agri Load All here. Uh, which is the same price, actually. In fact, it's essentially the same one, looking at that. Just a different uh, front connector. That's it. Yeah, I've got his... Um, where are we? Hello, and the tools. I've got the J yeah, I've got the JCB ones here. Very tempted to get that bale fork. Never seen you use the base game. Never seen you use the base game bale loader, Anderson. Uh, it is a, a real bale loader. I just haven't had need to use it. We are... Uh, are all of our fields are very close to our yards, so I'm, it's, it's very easy for me to load them up. And when I'm not uh, loading bales to my yard, I, uh, I have my bale trailer. So I've, I've, no, I've no need to use that at the moment. I have used it in the past. I've used it on um, Spruce Mountain. We've used it on Spruce Mountain for uh, contracts. It's uh, a cracking bale loader. Right, so best way I've either got to come back via the road or cross the river multiple times.
See, if we go via the road, oh, the road, that's why I don't normally go via the road. It's quite a long way round. Out of here, round here. And then round here. Whereas the other way is a little bit more direct. Like so. So, uh, something I should note is that when the VOD for this goes up on, uh, it will be going up on Sunday. And at that point, we will be caught up with our VODs on, uh, on here. Oh, good guy, 17 has gone full realism while we're doing this. Where's my phone? Okay. Timer. Stop. There we go. So now you get to see how good I am at doing this first person. First one. That's second one. It's more that I can't see where I'm going. Put third on top. No, I'm not risking that at the moment. You're right, Mystic. That that would be a good way to go. But I'm, yeah, I'm not that sure of. I'd have to drop both of these off. Put one on top. Um, and in fact, I don't want to do that because of the way I'm stacking this. Putting the third on top doesn't actually save me much. Because I'm, I'm offsetting the top one. Right, so line this up. There we go. Now we just need to go and get a single bale. put on top such a long way around for this other meadow half times to sell field 11 and buy field 33 Oh, you know what I haven't turned on? Because this, while I'm doing this in first person, would be really useful. That. Right. Uh, 
There we go. Uh, uh, yeah, turn that on. So you guys can now see where I'm looking when I'm loading these bales up, which makes sense because then you can see what I am focusing on in order to get into the right spot on the bales. Yeah. Okay, let's tr let's try a third then. Probably I'm I'm also on a hillside, so that is not going to make things easier either. So, grab the first one. Grab the second one. I mean, with the JCB um bail spike it would be easier because you can hold three bales very easily with that one all right so then put those down there like that grab a third one just the one we're gonna put on top Okay. Three bales loaded up. That top one is a little bit unstable. And round through. Oh. Yeah, I think with the, the JCB one where I've got the spike at the top as well, it might work. Uh, here we are a little bit uh, un. Um, uh, a little bit unsturdy. Hey, Hogan Gamer family, welcome along. Thank you, good guy 17. Oh, we do need to get a. Um, reminds me, we need to get a screenshot, don't we? Can't see the green dot. Ah, uh, it is there. How's that? Is that in a good position? Yeah, that's in a good position. Cool. Right, one more to go. I'm actually enjoying doing this first person. Happy birthday for yesterday, Hogan.
no, actually, both of those are facing downhill. So let's take the one that's across the uh, across the slope and work with that one. I think. Okay. And that one. That's not great. Right. I'll do. And Black Mirror has redeemed Clean Me. So, yeah, we're going to give this a good wash after we've dropped these last three bales off. That's not bad. That's a good amount of silage bales off there. I mean, we should have a decent amount of uh, feed for our cows for a while. Uh, we're looking at... That's three and a half each. Whoa! And that's why I didn't like doing the three. Yo, Matty245. Uh, Taz has redeemed a, st uh, a, a giveaway. Right, let's see if this works. Exclamation mark here in chat. I've sorted the stream count, uh, countdown out. So, soon as somebody's in here, press the button. Hello, cowboy TW, thank you for the follow. Come on, register, please. There we go. Right, and uh, in two, uh, yeah, I will um, give away a game shortly. Hey, Scalari, I am doing well, thank you. Hey, Jax, uh, SW, welcome along. I need to go and pick up that bale. Of course, a farm sim DLC of your choice is on there. 
Will I use the new Donnelly silage trailers? Uh, I have no plans at the moment. Hey, outlook, outlook, cowboy. I'm doing well, thank you. Go and pick up our errant bailer. At least he didn't go over the hedge. That would have been worse. There we go. That's the last one on. Done and dusted. And that's all of our bales out of the field. Which is great. Now we need to get these rolled, I think, next. Uh, so that is going to be the T6 again. First, we have a giveaway. Congratulations, you have been selected. All you need to do is let me know you're there in the chat. There you are. Right. Later, Hogan. Let's see what game code we're going to send you. Let's spin the wheel. See what comes up. Will it be the golden wedge? It's Suzerain. Uh, there we go. So I will send you over the game code for that Cornish name. Congratulations to you. Uh, right. I need to have a look what we're going to replace that with. Genesis Noir is the game going on to the wheel in its stead. Uh, there we go. And save that. And mark that as being on the wheel. Right, there we are. Oh, I've got to wash this. We had this, uh, we had a wash or clean me redeemed. So, yeah, we need to give the JCB a wash down. My pleasure, Cornish Gnome. Uh, it should disappear off on its own. I'm hoping. I tried to I tried to fix it and it should disappear off on its own. Maybe not. Okay. I think I need to alter the time it's it's on for. It should disappear off by the time I uh, do that other bit. Right, and that's got that washed. 
looking nice and tidy and clean now, our JCB. That's that done, and yeah, we're back in the T6 with the roller, I think. And this will basically get the field onto the first stage of growth. Uh, without it, uh, so the, the field basically with precision farming regrows quicker, uh, which is really useful. The thing I don't know is if I can actually put any nitrogen on here after this. That's that's what I really want to do. Get some uh, get some fertilizer on here because these fields currently are dragging us down on our. Uh... Oh, wow, no, that is just awful. Uh, dragging us down on our environmental score. We've, we've got an almost perfect environmental score on other fields. And then our two meadows are, yeah, really bad on a couple of them. It would be nice if this increased the nitrogen. But we're all right. We'll keep it going and we'll see where we end up. Uh, as long as this is, this is the last thing we absolutely have to get done today. Because if we don't do this today, we miss our opportunity to roll it and we end up being a, a day behind on our growth. would i like to see giants bring to the game uh pipe dream brand uh ford and uh, and david brown are the two classic really classic brands i'd love to see come to farm sim uh they're never gonna happen and i know that those are absolute pipe dreams um because yeah they're, they're just not gonna happen um as far as other brands uh, most of the brands are modern brands i'd like to see in the game are already in i think some good irish british and irish brands would be nice so things like keenan would be good and um uh and ones like that um did lena still make stuff or have they now Fully gone adco i'd like to see gleaner stuff in for for american maps 
And I'm not sure if they still produce... I actually are producing equipment and things anymore. Or whether that's a brand that Adco retired. Let's see your FS19 maps come to FS22. Which one? Uh, which one's Cornish name? If they're your FS19 maps, surely that's in your control. Spurn, Spurn off 1996. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Ah, uh, cool. Okay. Ah, uh, Bessie Beneath. Yes. Awesome map. Love Bessie Beneath. I'm really looking forward to Dusty Dave's new map. That he's working on uh rushton i think it is if i remember correctly uh looking looking forward to that one that's gonna be awesome and of course in the next uh couple of weeks we are going to be starting to build a map here every friday night i think i'm gonna do uh my my dad's second farm so uh the one that was based in ringland just outside norwich uh i ruttlemore thank you milk tanker jay yeah uh which uh, uh which has a lot of uh of varying uh elevation i i think i'm probably gonna do it at like 80 percent scale uh in order to fit the whole map in uh, i've measured it out and i think both I think both that one and my dad's farm, I'm going to have to do it about 80% scale in order to get everything in. So, uh, yeah. It'll be fun. And we're going to learn lots of stuff. Call it virtual farm. <laughs> ah, I think it's cool. If I remember correctly, our farm in Ringling was called Manor Farm. Uh, but there's a nice bit of forestry in it. There's uh, uh, a nice bit of um, a nice bit of variation in fields and things. Uh, it was a pig farm. We didn't farm pigs, but it had pig sheds. So uh, there, there's a, a pig section to it. Uh, what was for supper? For supper this evening was uh chicken parcels uh in um sort of in a pastry pastry parcels uh with uh cauliflower cheese and uh new potatoes and peas uh all platforms uh callum all platforms would be the aim that any map i created would go for Uh, and I would be going for a mix of playability and uh, realism. So I'd be trying to get it as close as I could um, at the same time as uh, making sure that it was fun to play. I think the other advantage of making it like 80% of 80% uh, scale uh, is the fact that the, the fields would be a little bit smaller and a little bit more manageable. So, Vivre would definitely make a series on YouTube. Oh, thank you, Callum.
being a macro platform says UK and Irish base with a lot of small fields for uh, like on 5200 uh, it's part of the reason why I've gone for Ebony Isle because Ebony Isle is exactly that kind of map um, I think Perbeck might be that kind of map as well so uh, yeah to show why I'm rolling this it'll have no effect on the uh fertilizer state at all so if we have a look at it yeah like that's really dragging me down is the overall because I, I own everything around the edge of the map uh, and i can't work any of it all of it is dragging me really low down because it's i can't work most of it so uh the problem we have if i deselect that area so our environmental score Nitrogen, pH value, weed control, soil sampling, and tillage. We have no uh, nitrogen. Our weed control is fairly bad, and our tillage is fairly bad. So there's not much I can do about the tillage. Um, but the rest is, yeah, the rest is poor. The the nitrogen is the thing we need to do. Uh, oh wow. We need to rescan these fields. They are, yeah. That is all outdated. I think we need to. I think we need to do a whole load of rescanning, actually. Um, but certainly, we need to rescan these because their data is com completely out of date. Uh, they have zero at the moment. You can see at the edges. So yeah, we need to rescan these fields. Looks like we're going to have to do a rescan of most of the farm, actually. fairly soon certainly after harvest this year i think all of our main fields are going to go out later data uh yes yeah, stuart trailer is one of the ones i'm targeting um i actually need to add it in because i don't think i have it in here at the moment uh do we have a stuart we've got the marston no i need to add the stuart trailer in uh because that is the one i'm going to be wanting to get with the new combine uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go for a class combine. Which, yeah, has not appeared there. Uh, yeah, I want to get a class combine. It's going to cost me 200 odd thousand, though. So uh, we might have to initially lease it in order to get the combine we want. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think, we're, I think the TX, we're probably going to sell it later this year. And... Uh, try and do that if we're lucky we can do enough contracting work maybe a uh, find a grass contract that wants silage uh, that will allow us to to make a pile of money and get the combine that i want to get an old clayton combine not in this series but i'm not ruling it out entirely I said there's a series I have planned that that kind of piece of equipment would be awesome on. My, ba my bale trailer is already um, good enough for what I need. All right. I'm gonna wash the uh, wash this off I, you know what i think we might be able to go weeds killing today although i could probably do with uh scanning those fields
keeping my eye on numbers of people. Because if we hit that magical 100, then of course we will uh, do another giveaway. Uh, do you know any mod that would make a lizard version of the Keenan wagon? I don't. Modders don't, in my experience, modders don't tend to take requests. They, because they're doing it for fun and their own enjoyment, they tend to uh, stick to doing some stuff that, that they enjoy doing. And I can't blame them, to be honest. Right. Uh, I think we don't own one of these, do we? I might go rent a soil sampler. Thank you. Oh, both of them with rubbish setups. Uh, right, that's not what I want. I want this because I want to see what. Uh, do we have anything in misc? Those two. Okay. And anything misc here? No. Right, we don't have one. Let's pop up to the shop and sort this then. Is that... Pl that plow is still leased, isn't it? I don't think we need the plow anymore. I kept the plow because I thought I might go and get the pig field, didn't I? Uh, we'll keep it around for now. It's not costing us a huge whack of money. Oh, 6C I could rescan. Because 6C is... Uh, it's got cropping, but it hasn't germinated yet. That might not be a bad shout. Fairly sure actually my other fields haven't germinated much. Right. Into here. And we want uh miscellaneous. There it is. Out. Perfect. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll lease that. Yes. Okay. Now, a nice modern New Holland. gonna clear off yeah there we go don't need to course play course on do i know um not there's not an mp compatible if you mean cross play mp compatible uh manual attach no because manual attach is a script uh the manual attach mod is will work on multiplayer i've had it 
yeah i've used it on multiplayer um but yeah it's not it's not compatible with crossplay i uh, not crossplay needed yeah the the uh the standard manual attach mod is is crossplay compatible Jake YN123, uh, welcome along. Yeah, no, no, it's on the mod hub. It's on the mod hub. The one that I'm using on here is a mod hub mod. I think our entire fields are scanned down this end. Interestingly. Martin ML Gamer, thank you for resubscribing for your 40th month. How you doing, Martin? I hope you're doing well. Uh, Jake YN123, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFM. How you doing, Martin? Hope things are going well. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. There we go. What are my plans for this series? Uh, so... We're getting to the point now where we're looking to start expanding the farm to bigger fields so that's part of the reason why we're, we're beginning to look at things like a bigger combine uh because where we are on the map we've got so we've got these fields here this little area here and this area here i'm probably going to expand out fully into here so when we get field 35 uh, we will make that an arable field as well. And after that, though, you see that the other fields on this map start getting a lot bigger. So we're then going to start looking at uh, possibly expanding out. I think field 10 will be the next target after that. Now, uh, one thing I should mention is that I think at the middle of the year, once we've got this whole center bit of this map done, and depending on what uh, Oxy's next map is like, uh, we might end up switching over to that and restarting the series. So, let's send samples. Okay. So, yeah, quite quite possible that, that we will restart this series um, later in the year. on a new map one way or the other when is this new map out it's it, we're expecting about halfway through the year horse and welcome along by the way horse uh so yeah expect expecting the new map about halfway through the year Right, uh, now I could. Oh yeah, look at the state of that. Uh, right, so these fields here are getting fairly old. I can't go and scan these ones. I can, I could go and scan this, but I think we'll wait till after harvest and we'll hold on to this piece of kit in the meantime. 
So we'll put this in the shed just out of the way. How long have I been doing the series? Uh, just joined Twitch, so I'm wondering how long you've been doing it. So this, uh, this particular series, so the one on Carmson Farm, this is the 96th stream, I want to say. I can check this. Hang on. Give me a moment. We'll bring up BF2 and we'll have a look. So, looking at this, tomorrow's VOD will be day, uh, will be day 112 and will be the 97th stream. So this is stream 98, Sunday will be stream 99, and next Wednesday will be our 100th stream of this realism experiment. So yay, we're up to 100 streams, almost. Um, uh, which is why I'm saying, you know, midway through the year, it might be time to restart, you know, restart another map because we're over 100 live streams into this. Um, and even Critical Role only, only go up to like 140 odd streams for one of their series. Actually, that's a weird thing. So I've been watching Critical Role. I've been catching up. They are three series in. Uh, I am halfway through series two and they have about 140 streams. So there are as many episodes of various live stream, uh, of various realism experiment streams as there are for this. Uh, right. So we need, oh, we need to have a look at this field. So yeah, well, as I was saying earlier, you can see that our rolling these fields has made no difference to their level of uh, nitrogen. They are completely devoid of it. Uh, what it has done is, if I turn grass on, it's got it to the first level of growth from being uh, harvested. So, yeah. Hey, Paul! Cheers! Ah... And thank you for the 20 bit cheer. You are awesome. There we go. Uh, right, so we need to. What do I have in the way of spreaders? Um, or do I have any solid fertilizer for a start? I've got a little bit there 700 odd liters. That is not going to go very far, is it? Okay. So a little fertilizer spreader for us to put solid fert on that field. Uh, fertilizer, fertilizer. There we go. Don't need anything very big. That Cavernland exacto isn't very big. I don't. I don't. Can't attach that gate to anything. Well, I could. I could get a gator and put this little fertilizer spreader on it. How much does this hold? A thousand liters. Hmm. I wonder. So four by two. That is not overly expensive. This is going to start getting expensive, isn't it? Yeah, if I'm going to fert spread with it, I'm going to want to have it enclosed, I think. Uh, no beacons. No additional lights because we won't be doing any. Yeah. So 
So that would be 16,000. That is horrible. <laughs> yeah, but I can put a little fertilizer spreader on the back of it. So that way, it would cost me about 30,000, I think, to do that. Uh, no, it wouldn't. It would cost me. So it would cost me about 17,000 to put to get something to put the little fertilizer spread. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Right. Uh, did it change the environmental score? That's a good question. Let's have a look. Um, for that, I want the soil type. Uh, not massively, no. Uh, soil sampling 12.5. No, our soil sampling was already good on these fields. So, yeah. I could put... So our choice is basically... Something like this little Cavernland exactor, which only holds a thousand liters, will cost me... In fact, no. So this is going to cost me... 17,000 anyway to get this to do it or 2,500 plus and you know what I want to get the John Deere Gator I really do oh wow That's interesting. If I can keep it... Uh, no beacons, no additional lights. Well, we don't need a massive work width, so I'm not overly worried about it, to be honest. And if I get it with that, we'll be able to move stuff around the yard with it as well. Yeah, that is not massively more expensive than the uh, than the last one. I think, yeah, that's set up there would do us fine would be perfect uh so that's sixteen thousand six hundred. yeah this is not massively more expensive so we want 11 as the number plates okay uh is it can we do front and back back only okay right there we go let's buy that spreader would better fit on this right and then i want a fertilizer spreader as well buy that as well and then buy a big bag of fertilizer go with the nitram Right. Which means we'll be taking this tractor down to the shop. Is this... Hey, us! Welcome along. No, that's a completely different thing. <laughs> Love it when you go to the store. Kid in a candy store. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I've got ordered a big bag, so I need the big bag handler. Yeah, unfortunately, that's that's all to do with um, uh, rights and and trademarks and things. 
Can we make pancakes? No, because don't have the pancake factory. <laughs> um, I'm not going with a uh, with the Massey for the multiplayer tomorrow. No, Kulchi, I have a different tractor in mind. Um, I'm also not thinking of going classic. Um, I'm thinking of going a bit more modern with my tractor. Uh, which is going to cost me a lot of money, which means um, uh, I'm going to end up spending a load of money and, uh, and not on land. Maybe. Yeah, I, I, I'll have a look at what's in the sales as well, Taz. Uh, the MP is starting tomorrow night over on YouTube. Yes, from 8.30 p.m. Um, as before, uh, we will have it on midday. I'm hoping to be on the server a little bit before the stream starts so that uh, everybody can get their farms set up uh, before the stream starts. I have a, I have actually uploaded all the mods this evening and I'm going to try and upload the uh, save game setup I've done uh, after the stream tonight, I think. Keep one slot free for Kermit. Not tomorrow night. <laughs> Plus, we have a, we have a sixteen slot server, and we don't tend to fill the server uh, on on a given night. And that's the beauty of running a seven day, you know, seven day one. Oh, I really need to get that spot on. Yeah, there we go. I have a freaking thing down here already for this. Although I had to drive something down here to come and pick this up. Right, this should take all of this bag. Yeah, Jesse's joining me. Uh, he is uh, my farmhand. Um, I'm also going to give uh, the uh, those of you who are um, uh, who are uh, moderators who have also been doing the MP for a while uh, the uh, admin password. So if I'm not on there, you guys can uh, can deal with stuff. Right, this will be this will be a good little spreader for us, I think. Right, home we go. The power will grab me. Well, I don't have to if you don't want it, Kelchi. That's fine. <laughs> uh, seven touchdown. It's like driving a little golf cart with a fertilizer spreader on the back. Yeah, 15 miles an hour and the tractor can follow. Oh, actually, this doesn't go faster than 15 miles an hour. Well, that's fine then. Awesome touchdown.
I'd have thought if I get a little trailer of back attachment to this, we can use this to feed the chickens. Looking for farm hat, yeah. <laughs> Losing four million from last. Wow. Yeah, everybody starts off start from scratch, and that's gotta buy your farmyard as well. But everybody pretty much starts with a grass field because uh, I've removed all the animal pens. Oh, he made it around the corner. Uh, what tomorrow night uh, the map is gonna be Ebony Island is the the one I've gone for This is gonna chew through this like nothing Isn't it Actually, it isn't. I'm surprised. I thought this was going to use up all of this really, really quickly. I'm glad I got this now. Getting a lot harder to see fertilizer compared to a few days ago. Uh, this is because I've rolled it, so you definitely can't see it on here at the moment um, because it's uh, it's it's rolled, so it, it goes back to the uh, it's it's already in its darkened state. Which is why I'm relying on the uh, the mini map. And, uh, and sort of putting it down. There's a, a sort of a, a line here that's very easy to see. Right, uh, it's got the first field done. Gonna take a couple of treatments, I think, to raise the uh, the levels on here. Later, yes.
And much easier to get this going around this field than, uh, than the sprayer. We are going to have to get the sprayer around in order to raise our score for weeds. Um, we're going to have to just run the sprayer around the field. Uh, otherwise, uh, we're looking pretty good, I think. Well worth grabbing this little gator, even if it has only left us with 2,300. Don't have access to... Do you... Have you linked up your patron with Discord? Uh, touchdown. Almost does the full width. That's slightly annoying. How do you do that? Uh, there's information. There's a pinned comment in the. Um, yeah, there's a pinned comment in the main uh, area in the the main section of the, uh, the Discord in the general discussion on how to do it. Uh, touchdown. But I know a couple of people have had uh, a little bit of issue. Right, there we go. I'm going to try and get that top corner that seems to have been missed. Yeah, down to 69%. That really hasn't used much. We should be able to uh, give it another spread next game day, I think. And, uh, and get that raised a bit more. Right. Uh, we will park this in the main shed. Yeah, which is good. What the only reason we're really doing it is uh, is so that we can increase the uh, uh, the environmental score and see if it's made any difference. Uh, not at the moment. Wow, why is my oh it won't take effect till next month, will it? Yeah, it'll take effect next month. At the moment, it's uh, still sitting at zero. Later, Milk Tanker Jay. Oh, you know what I'm going to go and do now because it's 25 past four. We're going to go and sell the milk just as Milk Tanker Jay's leaving because I bet we've got enough milk now. How much do we have? Oh, yeah, we do. I didn't wait till he left on <laughs> on purpose, I promise. I saw his name come up and go, oh, I gotta sell the milk. Um second night in a row. Uh 689, general store bay one. Right, let's go sell this. Uh, can I reserve a farm on there? Um, did you have a farm on the previous one, Touchdown? So far, as far as I know, I've got three farms reserved by people who were in... who had farms in the previous one. I, there is somebody I need to check with. No, you worked with me. That's what I thought. Um... So yes, if there's one, if there's one available, um, certainly just uh, post in the multiplayer there, because then I can absolutely track who asked, asked first. 
<laughs> That's all right, Milk Tanky J. I'm going to sell it now and you're still here. Just for the last moment of me selling it. Oh, if I can actually get it to sell. There we go. Right, let's sell the milk. Make the money. And then Milk Tanky J can go to bread. <laughs> Uh, 4,176 plus 440 environmental score. That's good news. We might have some eggs to sell as well, I think, tonight. Night, Jay. Right, spin this around. And done. And done. Right, uh, let's have a look. I think we might need to feed the chickens as well quickly. Don't surprise me. Uh, yeah, chickens need feeding, and we do have a full pallet of eggs. So let's get them fed first, and then we'll uh, we'll pick up the eggs. Awesome touchdown! Yeah, because then I can work out who has uh, who has asked first, as I can see timestamps. Right, I want this because I want chicken feed. Which is in this shed here. Bags and bags of wheat. If we did sell all of our, yeah, we did. We got. Oh, we could still have some soybeans to sell. Uh, what's that? Uh, Fourteen thousand liters of soy. Yeah. Yeah. We bagged up all of our wheat for the chickens. I'm very tempted to put a second chicken pen in and just spread our chickens between them. Uh, that way we can get more chickens. They will breed. There we are. Hey, Lady D33, welcome along. Ah, there we go. Oh. That didn't work. Let's get this right. 
Need to get it to take the at sign out. That would be good. There we are. How did I pack my wheel? How do you mean, uh, Zigma? Oh, I didn't close that. That's the matter. We're going. We're going back there with the uh, front loader now. Anyway, are oh, the DLCs in the map? Uh, Kubota and pumps and hoses and the uh, uh, oh, the one with all the bins that was free, which I can't remember. The Aggie Aggie pack. That's the. Uh, that's the. Uh, those are the only three DLCs we're using on the server at the moment. We might end up using the new DLC when it comes out end of next month. My, my pleasure. I, uh, yeah, the farming's going well. We are, we actually are ahead of ourselves and, uh, and doing well today. Which is a bit odd for the realism experiment. Normally, I am rushed off my feet trying to get everything done. And, uh, and no, I'm not, I'm not doing too bad. Uh, is precision farming hard to get used to at the start? No, I, I, I actually find precision farming helps me farm more than it hinders. Uh, it gives me so much more information that I can play with. So, yeah, I'm, I, I, I love precision farming uh, i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of excited about the new dlc in match me too there's so much cool stuff in it so much stuff i want to try out i've been really getting into silage stuff recently eggs out we're only loading up one pallet Really wish I could put this in the back of the landy. Stop looking at escaping you. Stay. I can see you. Yeah, that's right. Turn around. Away you go. Um yeah the only way i know is the chicken cages i have i have a ton of them to transport the chickens i've got i don't i i think there is a chicken transport uh trailer on the mod hub if i remember correctly I think someone altered one of the horse boxes or something like that to do chickens. If I remember correctly. Right, get the eggs on. And then that will probably be our last job for the day, I think. Because we have got everything done. I'm actually slightly amazed I managed to get the fertilizer sorted on that field. That is, that is really good how far we've got ahead with that. It really is. Right. Uh, yeah, that's all in there. We're not going to need to go in there again today. Yeah, I have not weeded it yet, uh, Cat Cracker. We will probably weed on Sunday, I think. Uh, we'll weed all the grass. We'll weed all our other fields um, and, uh, and get all of that done on Sunday. 
Oh, where's the best place to sell these? Eggs, 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 eggs. Uh, 995 is the best place at the farmer's market. Target, that is the bottom of there. Uh, which map am I on? Uh, this is Carmsden Farm by uh, Oxygen David. Uh, exclamation map for the full details. Sell the eggs. More money. I haven't seen the Farmer Tim guys uh, series on Bali Spring. It's it's one of those maps which would be I, th I think would work really well for me. Um, but uh, I want to see a few of the issues on it cleaned up first. I think. No, oh, sorry. So no. Ebony Farm is tomorrow night, uh, Vladimir, for the multiplayer. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the multiplayer. No, this is Carmsden Farm tomorrow night for the multiplayer we're on, Ebony. Thank you, Cat Cracker, for the 100 bit cheer. And uh, yeah. Hello, Manny Mullovich. Welcome along. How are you doing, Manny? And hello to you over in Germany. If we can detach this this time without it falling through the floor. Okay, you're not going to detach? Yeah, there's no way I can stop that falling through the floor there. It doesn't like where it lands. No! <laughs> We, uh, someone came in and they, they've recently had a baby. Their wife has recently had a baby and that's why they haven't been in the stream for a while. Right, let's head back up here. I think that's it for the day. It is 20 to 6. Uh, we are not desperate to get anything done on the farm today. We actually have managed to get everything I wanted to do. Hey, lead dog. Welcome along. Hope you're doing well. I am. Uh, I am just finishing off. We're going to find someone to raid in a moment. That would that would be dedication. That really would. Right. Save it here. Uh, check the shop quickly. See if there's anything interesting. <laughs> Game! Why do you do this to me? Yeah, damn it. Right, I take the time to have go forward to the morning. That lets him buy the spreader now, yeah. Ah, that's crazy. Let's have a look at the shop again. Massive John Deere header, still got the spreader. How much is, um, because I've got to check now. See, that's worth 13,000 on its own.
And I have a fertilizer spreader. Right, okay. We've got decisions to make next time. What hasn't changed is that I'm still an idiot. Ugh. Save it. <coughs> and that's where we're going to leave it for today. Oh, man. Love that. I love the stupidity of that. <laughs> oh, well. That's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes I miss the fact that I've already bought something. And uh, sometimes the game uh, gives me something that I need after I've bought it. And sometimes I do both. Oh, man. Right. Who have we got who is currently streaming over on Twitch? Is there anybody we can go and raid? Um, hmm. Ooh. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Reaver! Reaver is streaming, so we're gonna go raid my brother. Knew he'd be streaming. Uh, uh, right, we're gonna go raid Reaver1979, so go say hello to my brother, cause he is awesome. Um, a couple of other people who are awesome. Uh, Catcracker6, thank you for your cheer. You are awesome. Uh, BS Trick Gaming, thank you for your cheer. You are awesome. Uh, Martin ML Gamer, thank you for subscribing. You are awesome. Uh, Good Guy 17, thank you for your cheer. You are awesome. Um, and for resubscribing as well. Uh, Hoyan 73, thank you for resubscribing. Uh, you are awesome too. Uh, thank you everybody for watching tonight. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Uh, I will be back tomorrow night over on YouTube from half past eight. Uh, we are going to be restarting the community multiplayer. So please come and join me for that. Uh, Lady D33, thank you for resubscribing for your third month. You are awesome. Um, I will be back here on Sunday night from 8.30 p.m. with more from the Realism Experiment. Um, and uh, tomorrow's video will be uh, Spruce Mountain Farm, so go and check that out. And on Sunday, I will be on Attingham Park uh, for my video over on YouTube, so go check that out as well. Um, yeah, please, if you are interested in uh, a um uh in in getting hello fresh for half price for your first box and 35 percent off for the next three boxes plus three free gifts uh go check out the link that has uh, just gone into the chat moments ago and use my code pog hello uk 10 uh triple one in order to get that um not only do you get a fantastic um uh, meal set up with uh, with them but you also help support the channel by doing it as well both of which are awesome things um right i am gonna go and leave you in the capable hands of my brother reaver 1979 and for now all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope that you have enjoyed this live stream and i will see you next time goodbye <laughs>